Sonos Wire speakers are popular amongst home users. However, enterprise Wi-Fi systems are not designed for these, so usually the default setting do not work with them. Rookus Unleashed was not an exception. At the end, I was able to configure my Sonos system on Rookus Unleashed either wired or wireless setup. But finding the right information from internet took me a while. Even then, I wasn't sure if I really had to go through all the processes. So, as a casual network hobbyist, I've decided to do a bit of testing myself. In this video, I share what I worked for me to have Sonos speakers work either in wired or wireless setup in the least amount of changes from the default configuration. Let's get started. I currently have following Sonos speaker set up. Sonos 1 second generation as a standalone. Sonos Move first generation. And Sonos Arc 5.2.1 home theater set up with third generation Saab and Sonos SL rear speakers. On my Rookus Unleashed default Wi-Fi setup, I was able to connect Move 1 and Arc. And it app even recognized sub and SLs. However, I was not able to group home theater setup despite resetting each speakers. None of the speaker in my setup were wired. Sonos are a popular wireless Wi-Fi speaker platform. There are two types of setup for Sonos speakers, wired and wireless. Wired setup makes those wired speakers as hubs for wired Sonos speakers. Basically, if we wire at least one Sonos speaker, the remaining Sonos speakers creates their own 2.4 GHz mesh network. This is called Sonos Net. If all speakers are not wired, then we are using wireless setup. In this setup, each Sonos speakers will connect to your own home Wi-Fi. Each have their own pros and cons. Sonos Net approach allows Sonos speakers to potentially connect beyond your home Wi-Fi coverage range. They can also improve Sonos speakers' stability and reliability as they are on their own Wi-Fi network, so they don't have to wait a turn for other Wi-Fi devices. However, it's important to note that Sonos Net is not an interference-free magical wireless network. They are just their own 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. So this essentially creates the same negative effect as neighbor having 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi interference in your home network. Since it's within your house, the effect may be even more significant. With full wireless setup, Sonos speakers will be managed by your own Wi-Fi network. So overall throughput of the channel can be improved so long as the Wi-Fi system has decent QoS. Given listening music requiring uninterrupted operation, Sonos music quality will depend on home Wi-Fi quality. One way to view Sonos Net setup is it put maximum priority to Sonos speakers, even at the cost of other Wi-Fi clients in your home operating on the same channel. Recently, we are seeing a potential company's decision or preference of moving away from Sonos Net. Initially, it started with portable speakers, Sonos Move and Roam series. And now the latest models, ERA 100 and ERA 300, they can only be connected to your home network via Wi-Fi and not joining Sonos Net. Officially, Rokus recommends use of Sonos Net setup rather than wireless setup. In wireless setup, the default setting of Rokus Unleashed interfere grouping speakers. The good news is Rokus Unleashed supports both Sonos Net and wireless setup, but the latter setup requires a bit more work. Let's take a close look at each of the setups. The simplest and Rukus's recommended mode of operation is Sonos Net. For this, all you need to do is just wire one of Sonos speaker. 
When I wired my Sonos Arc, the home theater setup became available within a couple of minutes. It's important to note that Sonos says subwoofers and surrounds are not able to act as the first wired product of the Sonos Net. After going through official article and official forum's moderator comment one step at a time, I was able to get my Sonos Wi-Fi setup function with just disabling Smart Media QoS on Ethernet interfaces. Everything else I was able to just leave at default. However, this setting is not accessible through browser GUI. Instead, it requires us to use command line interface. The general steps are logging to SSH interface of the master access point, getting to AP mode section, disable Smart Media QoS, and reconnect Sonos. The first step is getting to command line interface of the master access point. Open command line tool of your choice from one of your computer that is wired to the same network as master access point. I use Mac, so this is simply from terminal. Rookus Unleashed uses RSA authentication method of SSH. So you need to put in an extra argument, SSH command. Otherwise you will get an error and won't even get prompted to enter login information. When prompted, Enter user ID and password. These are the same as what you use to log into browser admin page. Once logged in, type enable, then type AP mode. Enable command enables us to make changes in configuration. Otherwise, default login have very limited privilege. AP mode command will take into the actual AP configuration section. The only a pair of commands that I actually changed on Lucas AP default setting is disabling Smart Media QoS on both Ethernet interfaces using the following command. Be sure to run the command on both Ethernet 0 and Ethernet 1 interfaces. To save the actual changes, you must enter quit command. The last step is to have Sonos speaker re-attempt their connection. You can reboot Wi-Fi network, reboot Sonos speakers, reboot access points, however you like. In my case, the fastest for me was just plug in Sonos Arc to Ethernet cable and make it to Sonos Net system, then unplug it, which triggers these speakers to try joining Wi-Fi network. If you are interested in more detail about how I came to this setup and my personal opinion, or in case this simple single pair command approach does not work for you, you can check my blog post linked below for more detail along with reference links. So Rookus Unleashed can work well with Sonos. In particular, Sonos Net setup is as simple as wiring one speaker. What had originally looked overwhelmingly challenging to get Wi-Fi set up turned out to be as easy as executing only a pair of command. Personally, I will stick with Sonos Net setup for now. The reason is I am just not sure about the impact of disabling QoS altogether. In fact, one of the reasons why I thought Wi-Fi setup could be beneficial is to have Rookus intelligently control traffic, including Sonos speakers, and maximizing the network performance. But disabling QoS will actually take away this intelligence. Since Sonos Net use only 2.4 GHz radio, I think Rookus Unleashed should be able to adjust itself with automatic radio resource management. Which setup have you decided to go with? Thanks for watching.